Hi guys and welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today I'm going to be looking at my um, top favourite aircrafts to fly in this game. Uh, obviously you've got quite a lot and I primarily just use the jumbo jets as that's what I prefer. Uh, but first let's just have a quick look at my installations and the content manager. Uh, as you can see they're pretty much just liveries. Having gone through them, I've not really bought that many planes compared to other YouTubers. Um, mine are just, like I said, jumbo jets. So you've got the triple sevens, the seven three sevens. Uh, you've got quite a few city packs, with um, Dubai being one of my favourites, and there's also a North Korean one, which surprisingly is quite good. Uh, as you can see here, I do have quite a few. Um, Airbuses, so we've got the A340, A380, we've got the A320, which is default, the A319, A321 as well, which are really good to fly, and I enjoy using those. I think the only ones that I don't have as, as part of the Airbus family is the A318, and I'm debating whether I should be buying that or not. But without further ado, let's go into uh, my list of favorite aircrafts that I own. First up, we have the Airbus A320. Now, this is a default plane, but it is probably the easiest to fly uh, without any glitches, without any bugs. There's also the added bonus of having a ton of liveries for this aircraft as well. Uh, <laughs> it's just a long page, so I'll scroll through uh, some of them, but not all the liveries. But yeah, it being the default plane uh, that Microsoft gave it's just really simple to fly. I never have any issues with it. Uh, whenever I do time travel within the um, onboard selection menu, it travels to the next destination really easily. I don't have any bugs. And yeah, it's just a sweet little play to use. I mean, I've flown on this aircraft um, many times before. It is probably one of the uh, most used aircrafts in the world. A lot of airliners have it, and it's just very reliable. Um, but yeah, A320, um, such a good plane to fly. Again, this isn't in our um, in numerical order. I'm just giving you my list. Uh, next up on the list is the Airbus A380. Now, a lot of people might uh, be debating this option because of the creator, which is Bredock 3D. But you know what? It's such a good plane for me. It's one of my most used aircrafts I use in game. Yes, we only have six liveries, and I've been bugging him um, to release an update so we get more liveries. But yeah, haven't received any information from him. And there is also the lack of a cabin. Uh, but yeah, if he can nail on those two updates, I don't know when he can release it. But if he does, this plane is automatically number one for me. Uh, I just love using it. The A380 is one of my favourite aircrafts in the world and it's just such a good plane to fly. Uh, it feels heavy, it turns nice, I don't have any issues with it apart from the um, cabin, hollow cabin and liveries but yeah other than that uh, such a good plane and it was worth every penny for me. Now others might disagree, others might say it's one of the worst aircraft that they've ever bought. Well. Um, this is my opinion, so if you disagree, feel free to let me know in the comments. I know some of you will probably do so, judging by the comments I've received on my 777 video. Uh, next up, we have the newest addition to the sim, Marketplace, and that's the Boeing 777. Now you'll see two there, one is um, Captain Sim, I think, and the other is PMGG. Captain Sim has um, six liveries, PMGG has none, but I'm hoping um, they get released pretty soon. They should be hopefully on Thursday. Uh, but yeah, PM, the 777 is quite nice to fly. It's very heavy. Um, turns well. Um, all the systems work perfectly fine. You've got quite a lot of uh, options on the uh, inboard iPad. So yeah, uh, that's up there in my list. I've not flown it that much, but I need to um, get used to it. And uh, yeah, just fly on it a lot more. Now we've got the Boeing 787 here. Now, this would have been in my list. But ever since the updates, the new sim releases, the this aircraft is just useless. Um, it just doesn't fly properly for me. I don't know why. It's such a shame. It used to be my most flown aircraft. 
but whenever I'm landing with it it just I don't know I don't know what so what Microsoft did to it but it's so bad so bad and I'd say hopefully it gets fixed in an update but uh, honestly there's just no point wishing that uh, next up the Airbus A321 um, this plane I love flying um, similar to the A320 another one in the Airbus family I've never had any issues with it um, when it comes to the time travel option to when I want to do an approach or a landing again never had any issues with the plane it just flies really well um, yeah no complaints about it I can't remember who uh, made this one I think it might be uh, Latin VFR alongside the other airbuses but it is such a good plane to fly um, and if you don't have it I'd suggest you get it I think you get three or four different um, variants and as usual you also get quite a lot of um, liveries uh, as standard when you, pro um, when you purchase the aircraft but I think there are some livery packs that you can download and there are also updates when it comes to these liveries which you get more of so that's one thing that I'm really happy about Next up um, on my planes that I love to fly, the PMDG 737. Now I've not flown this for a while mainly because the lack of liveries has been disappointing. I'll show you right now, these livery packs you get 3 or 4 of them per, um, per pack and they cost £5 uh, and they are awful. You've probably seen 3 Ryanair liveries which are, I don't know why, I don't know why PMDG decide to release these liveries. But they're atrocious and they've not released any other packs as well so yeah um, won't be buying any other liveries but the plane itself it's really good uh, I enjoy flying it it's uh, all the systems work you've got your the iPad on board as well which works with um, all the uh, commands that you want it to do so yeah a very good plane to fly and I enjoy using that whenever I do next up my final plane is this, the F6, the FA-16. Now, if you've seen a lot of my videos or my shorts, I use this primarily for like, mini videos, just to fly to a destination really quickly. Um, mainly stadium videos um, where I'm doing an aerial tour of the of the ground, and I've used this quite a bit. And it's it's a really fun plane to fly. You can get up to high speeds. You can maneuver quite quickly as well. Uh, it's free, I th yeah it's free, uh, which is an added bonus considering a lot of these planes um, cost quite a bit. I think the most expensive one was the 777 which uh, cost me around £52. Uh, actually I got that for free uh, and if you want to know how I got that for free, uh, check my other videos on how to get aircraft for free. But yeah, these are my favourite aircrafts to fly, um, let me know what yours are in the comments below, hopefully you enjoyed this video, leave a like, press that subscribe button, and until next time.